we are also not case. <laughs> We come here and listen to all this nonsense story. <laughs> but it's fine, huh? it's fine sometimes. Just to add flavor into life, huh? not always be serious and miserable Buddha. Huh? <laughs> Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, with subtitles in Arabic. Olasis, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech. English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. C'est merveilleux de vous voir, téléspectateurs compatissants. Je m'appelle Rufai et je viens de Niki, du joyeux Bénin. Le Bénin anciennement appelé le Dahomey, à un pays d'Afrique occidentale. Il a une histoire riche et complexe, avec divers atouts culturels, précieux, beaucoup de vitalité et de caractéristiques variées. Les palais royaux d'Abomey sont un des sites du Bénin inscrit au patrimoine mondial de l'Organisation des Nations Unies pour l'éducation, la science et la culture d'UNESCO. Nous pouvons en apprécier la majestueuse architecture et le design ingénieux, témoin de l'histoire du Bénin et du style de ses anciennes dynasties. Le Bénin habite aussi des plages magnifiques, des parcs nationaux verdoyants, des paysages impressionnants et une faune et flore extraordinaires que les Béninois protègent consciencieusement. En 1995, le maire suprême Sikhaï a été invité au Bénin par son Altesse royale, le prince du Bénin, qui a accueilli le maître immédiatement à son arrivée. Tandis que le peuple béninois, vêtu de tenues traditionnelles, chantait, dansait et jouait de la musique pour elle dans les rues de Cotonou. Pendant le séjour du maître, son Altesse royale, le prince, a invité un groupe de musique à jouer devant la chambre d'hôtel du maître en guise de salutation matinale. Sa Majesté le roi Angoli Ago, du Bénin, a aussi invité le maître dans son palais où il a accueilli avec une grande réception impériale. C'est une joie pour nous que de partager avec vous une brève introduction du Bénin écolo. Nous vous souhaitons d'abondantes bénédictions du paradis.
Depuis plus de trois décennies, le Maître Suprême Sihai éclaire notre monde de ses enseignements divins. Maître est totalement éliminé. Elle enseigne la méthode de méditation guanyin à ceux qui désirent découvrir immédiatement la nature de Dieu intérieur et parvenir en cette vie à la libération éternelle du cycle de la réincarnation. La méthode Guanyi a été pratiquée par tous les maîtres éliminés, tels que le Bouddha, Jésus-Christ, le prophète Mohammed, que la paix soit avec lui, Guru Nanak et de nombreux autres. Elle souligne que si nous nous souvenons toujours de Dieu, rendons service aux autres de façon désintéressée et suivons les lois de l'univers, nous atteindrons notre potentiel le plus élevé en tant qu'être humain et comprenons vraiment notre mission sur Terre. Le Maître Suprême Sihai est un extraordinaire exemple vivant de compassion, envoyant régulièrement une aide matérielle et financière, ainsi que de l'amour aux refusés, aux sans-abri, aux victimes de catastrophes naturelles et à d'autres nécessitant des secours. En 2006, elle a reçu le prix Goussy de la paix, considéré comme le prix Nobel de la paix en Asie, et a été honoré au fil des ans de nombreux autres prix et reconnaissances pour ses actions philanthropiques et humanitaire exceptionnel. Véritable voix pour nos magnifiques amis les animaux. Elle promeut l'alimentation végane, pacifique et aimante et rêve qu'une fois que l'humanité réalisera le caractère sacré de toute vie, nous aurons un monde totalement végan, paisible et glorieux où les animaux et les humains vivront en parfaite harmonie. Ces initiatives pour diffuser la tendance végane sont multiples. Elles ont inclus la distribution du dépliant le mode de vie alternative, Love in Hot, la chaîne internationale de restaurants végans, Supreme Master Television ainsi que des conférences régulières avec des dirigeants du gouvernement et des médias. Et sa participation à des conférences télévisées sur le changement climatique, que nous le chassions ou non. Ces efforts ont eu une énorme influence en sensibilisant, de par le monde, au mode de vie qui respecte les animaux et au fait que cette façon d'être bienveillance fait apporter une paix durable entre les pays, tout en sauvant notre planète du changement climatique. Pendant des années, le Maître suprême Sihai a voyagé dans le monde entier, des Amériques en Afrique, de l'Europe à l'Océanie, et elle a donné des centaines de conférences en public ou à ses disciples sur divers sujets spirituels. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes bénis de vous présenter une de ces conférences instructives intitulée « Histoire drôle, non simple, deuxième partie d'un programme en trois épisodes dans « Entre maîtres et disciples » donné en anglais et en holacien aussi appelé le Vietnamien, le 12 mars 1994, en Californie, aux États-Unis. Ah, OK, now. There's the lawyer, OK? Well, you can help it here. Look, so the lawyer, huh? look at that. Huh? <laughs> It's not me. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? Why well, you have to listen? Maybe it's good this time. <laughs> maybe it's a heavenly lawyer, rare, but maybe <laughs> one new initiated. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I actually don't know any bad lawyer myself, and I, I never had anything to do with him. But so I have no prejudice. Okay. Okay. There's a lawyer, brand new, and he opened also a brand new office. Right. Very uh, dignified and ah, uh, and very very kind of uh, impressive. You know, with this. Uh, a man to open the door with the person who filed in, and with the secretary, secretary and under secretary and under 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 secretary, <laughs> etc. Yeah. And uh, but he sit sat there all day, and nobody come and ask him how he is. Right. And suddenly there come one person, you know, after many days, you know, so come in, and um, so he was so happy. But he told his uh, under, 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 you know, <laughs> under people that uh, let him sit in the dining room first. Let him wait, okay? Tell him I'm busy. <laughs> okay. So he tried very hard, you know, to impress this guy, you know. So he said, just let him sit here until I told you to bring him in, all right? And then so the guest sat out. Sat down, uh, sat down in the so- sofa and wait. So he, the, the, the lawyer inside, you know, pick up the telephone, you know, try to dial a few, you know, doesn't matter what numbers, <laughs> and then talk to the, the, the man, supposed to be a man on the other line, and say, hello, <clears throat> oh, oh, you are the bank manager of Country Bank. It doesn't matter. Uh, do you know the, the issue was very serious? You know that. You know that. Actually, I have tried my best. Otherwise, you could, you know, be in trouble. But now everything's okay. I fixed it, and you have nothing to worry about. I see you tomorrow. All right. But I give you half an hour. Be after lunch. If you come late, I don't think I have time for you. <laughs> All right. So and then, and then after that, he said, "All right, goodbye," and he put his telephone down. <laughs> Very big, you know. Just while he was talking, he also tried to open his door, and he talked very loud so that the men outside also hear that he's busy talking. And he hang the telephone bigger than the elephant jump from the roof, <laughs> so that the men also understand, you know. All right. And now he say, um, "All right, George, bring our customer in." <clears throat> <clears throat> so brought the customer in, and then. The lawyer said, "Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> What can I do for you?" And the customer said, "Well, nothing really. I just come to fix your telephone quickly so that you can use." <laughs> Got it, got it. Yeah. <laughs> the telephone didn't work. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so be careful whom you're dealing with. All right. Ah. Thì cái cái có anh chàng kia đó, văn phòng luật sư mà mới mở nhở, mới mở cái cũng luật sư nữa nhưng mà không phải không phải lỗi tại tôi cái này lỗi tặng tôi xe nhá. Mới mở mở cửa văn phòng mà. Ngồi hoài, hai ba ngày không có khách cưới vậy, buồn quá, tính đóng cửa đi về. Cái may đầu của ông anh nhỏ vô, vô cái anh, anh thấy rồi nó, ờ, anh Tư, kiểu ngồi phòng khách, chừng nào mà tôi cho phép vô, ông được vô, hiểu chưa? Nói với ông là tôi bận lắm, ừ, chứ có thì giờ tiếp ông được liền. Ừ. Cái anh chàng nó ngồi ngoài đó, cái anh cái, cố ý anh mở cửa ra, rồi ngồi đó quay số điện thoại, quay 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 số gì đó, mà kệ, ừ, quay ai cũng được, <cười> quay không có ai cũng không sao. <cười> quay lên để lên nó làm bộ nói nó à ông chủ nhà băng đó hả à cái vụ của ông đó hả là 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 nghiêm trọng lắm á lẽ ra không có thể nào mà 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 thoát khỏi nhưng mà tôi đi dàn xếp xong rồi bây giờ đừng có lo nữa thôi được rồi ngày mai tôi gặp anh nhưng mà 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 cho anh nửa giờ thôi tôi ăn cơm xong là 12 hai giờ rưỡi phải lại chứ nếu không luôn có thì giờ nữa nhau à hiểu ra à thôi cứ bay nha cứ bay đóng đóng cái điện thoại xuống cứ cục <cười> làm như trời dáng là nghe anh chàng này anh ngồi ngoài salon nghe à, ông bận lắm rồi nó anh tư thôi bây giờ đem người khách vô <cười> đem vô cũng bắt tay tay bắt mặt mừng nữa à, mình giỏi à, à, tôi giúp gì được cho ông cái à, ông khách ông nói 
dạ cũng không cần ông giúp gì cái cái cái, cái sở điện thoại kêu tôi tới đây đặng đặng uh, nối gấp cái số điện thoại gấp cái điện thoại đặng cho ông mới dùng được <cười> hiểu chưa <cười> <laughs> I don't think this one we can translate into English, so I just speak Vietnamese and you just uh, pl pray for your luck, okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe the interpreter is better than me, you know, has more, hum more humorous sense. No. Anyways, no. Tâm tàng. Hình <laughs> như tâm tàng là bạn của tu xe. <laughs> Chuyện nào không có tâm tàng trong này hết. Tâm tàng dẫn vợ đi xem cine. Ừ. Là bữa đó trúng ngày Chủ nhật á à, Thành ra cái ghi xe ở ngoài đó, cái chỗ mua vé đó đầy người hết trơn à, Rồi hai người cứ chen chen chút chút với đám đông đó Đang chen vậy cứ bị anh chàng sau lưng anh thúc chung cái đau điếng vô hồng á cái, cái mặt hầm hầm mà nó tính quay lại nó Thiệt cái giỡn đó bồ à, Cái anh chàng đứng sau lưng Là cựu luật sĩ quyền anh thế giới à, nói, Thiệt cái giỡn gì thúc thiệt ra thúc dân ha cái anh chàng kia anh dòm thấy cái tay nó bắp nở cuồn cuộn lên như như là chân voi vậy đó cái, cười cười què nó à, thiệt thì được chứ tôi ghét ai mà thúc giận lắm á cái 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 Uh, uh, I waste my time, you waste your time. I waste my money to buy all these earrings. <laughs> I mean, earphones, <laughs> and then you waste your time sit there for nothing. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I try, okay? Yeah, uh, you, you know, <laughs> you know, there's a man who took his wife uh, to see the cinema. You know, see the movies. Yeah, and that, that that day was Sunday, and it's very crowded. You know, everybody's queuing to uh, uh, buy the tickets. So he and his wife also queuing, you know, sweating. And then suddenly somebody just punched him, you know, <laughs> from behind. Yeah, and he was so angry, you know, already so mad and bad nerves, and he saying, "Are you serious, man?" You know, you know, and the man stood behind him. He was uh, an ex, you know, world champion boxer. <laughs> so they look at him and say, "Yes, serious." <laughs> so what? <laughs> and you know, and and the the man, you know, small and skinny, perhaps a Vietnamese initiate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> look back, you know. I really look at him now, studying him now, and he's seeing all his muscle, you know, just. Bigger than his whole body put together, <laughs> so he just, you know, kind of smiling and say, "It's all right. I hate people who are not serious." <laughs> Got it? Got it? <laughs> Do you learn any good Buddhist lesson out of the, <laughs> about these jokes? Huh? At least, huh? <laughs> to be serious, right? <laughs> okay, okay. I also hate people who are not serious, <laughs> especially when he's as big as you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this one. This one I have to talk in Vietnamese <laughs> because uh, playing with words and things like that. Uh, maybe I can try. But I don't know. Okay, the translator don't have to rely on me. Huh? You have to try your best. Huh? Put your wisdom and to, to work. Huh? Okay. Now, anh có một ông thầy đồ mà hả? Ông thầy đồ nho ha. Mới học có vài chữ mà. Cái. 
nhưng mà cũng thích nằm le lắm hả đi khoe chữ cho nên ta tưởng nó không giỏi lắm ừ À, cũng như chắc cũng như học trò mình mới 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 truyền tâm ấn cho ra khoe tùm lum mà tôi khai ngộ rồi khai ngộ quá trời quá đất rồi ha rồi giảng tâm kinh tâm 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 kinh vạn quyển ra cho người ta nghe hả ừ thì cũng cỡ đó ha coi chừng á coi chừng hả ừ rồi cái bữa đó trong làng đó có đám tang thành anh ta mời ổng đến đặt văn tế để ổng khoe ông hay lắm ừ rồi cái Gia chủ cho biết cái tên của cô đó là Nguyễn Thị Gáo à, không phải <cười> Nguyễn Thị Tròn T-R-O-N Nguyễn Tròn Tròn biết không ừ. Rồi cái ông lấy cái giấy đó ông viết đại viết lia viết lia rồi viết rồi Cho tới cái chữ tròn ông không biết tự nhòi viết làm sao Cái ông lấy ông ông gạch đại cái, cái dòng tròn để đó Rồi đi ra uống rượu nữa à, Tại chưa tới giờ mà Rồi ra uống rượu ăn bánh có một lát cái có anh học trò của ông á trò nào đó đi ngang qua học trò nào đó đi ngang qua cái uh, thấy nó ủa nguyễn thị tức là ruộng sư ruộng sư mà là tiếng tàu mà thì viết đúng là sao làm gì có cái chữ o vậy hả tàu làm gì có chữ o vậy à cậu nghĩ chắc là chắc là là chữ trung mà thầy mình ông thầy nó quên gạch cái cái xuống hay chưa chữ trung là nó như thế này biết không thì tôi cũng không biết đâu đừng có nói tôi biết nhiều tôi chỉ biết cái chữ đó thôi <cười> chữ trung chữ trung là cái nó cái vuông vuông chút vậy đó rồi gạch xuống đó hay không à, à phải vậy không phải không nó nói nói lại có phải không <cười> chắc phải ha à. à thành cái cái mà cái tàu nhiều khi vuông hay là tròn tròn nó biết cũng hơi giống nhau hay không thấy chưa thành nó cái ống gạch cái tròn này, anh chàng nhìn thêm cái gạch xuống thành chữ trung á nó chắc là nguyễn thị trung thấy chưa rồi anh đi anh đi một lát ông thầy đó ăn uống no say được cái linh đọc văn tế đọc tới nguyễn thị nguyễn thị kiếp sông phù du à, cô mau tỉnh ngộ về niết bàn cho sớm nguyễn thị nguyễn thị thị thị, thị. <cười> không biết thị gì hết ông quên mất ông quên mất uống thôi ngà ngà là quên mất cái ông đi ồ cái chữ nào hồi nãy sao không có cái ông, ông thấy gì giống cái này giống cái gáo của ông là nguyễn thị gáo <cười> Nguyễn Thị Gáo Nguyễn Thị Gáo à. Cái bà, cái bà, bà chủ nhà bà làm Trời ơi con tôi Nguyễn Thị Tròn sao không đặt là Gáo Ê làm sao nó siêu xanh Là làng nó sớm lên cái ổng tái mét Mặt mày tái mét Ông nhìn quanh ổng Ông chửi thề Chửi thề là biết thôi chứ tôi không có chửi được nhau Ông nói Cha mày thằng nào <cười> Thằng nào làm tài khôn thêm cái kháng mà ông nói cho tao hay Hả? <cười> 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 Got it? You got it? <laughs> okay. Uh, translating also is, is difficult to, to, to really peeling off all the, the you know, humorous essence inside. So I try again, okay? I'm not sure I can make it because it's, 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 it's typical kind of local joke, you know what I mean? And when you have to know many words and things like that, okay? Now there is a man who just learned a few Chinese words, you know, but he was very proud, you know, and boasting uh, all over places about his uh, Chinese uh, knowledge, okay? There is such person in our country, you know, who people who know Chinese, who can write Chinese, you know, who can read the kind of Chino Vietnamese, are supposed to be uh, well-educated, you know, and kind of a classical and noble being, you know, <laughs> teacher of mankind, etc. Not like me, I know nothing. <laughs> Okay, so anyhow, people believe that he's a good, you see. So you have to know in Vietnam or in China, in some of the Asian countries, when the people die, you know, the those who knows who well versed in Chinese, you know, or Chino Vietnamese, should come and write their names down, you know, and, and uh, uh, read out loud, you know, lamenting for her or praying for things like that. So this man was invited to that house when a person was dead. You know, just just die, and uh, 
uh, write this kind of uh, eulogy. Yeah. Yeah, yes, to present to the death, uh, so wishing him well or praying for him and things like that. Okay, so goodbye. Yeah, okay. Now he wrote one, okay? And uh, uh, supposedly, oh, you have been good and well, breeded the girl, you know, and luckily you died so early and things like that, you know. <laughs> <coughs> we all weep uh, and laugh for you, Miss So and so, you know what I mean? So the name of the person is a kind of John Brown and uh, uh, Round, you know. There is a Vietnamese name called Round. That means a, a complete circle like this, you see? And the, 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 this person who don't know, he, he doesn't know, he, he wrote the whole name, John Brown something, but the Round word, he doesn't know how to write it in Chinese. You know, supposed to write it in Chinese because it is more serious that way, you know? Not to write in Vietnamese, but in Chino Vietnamese and read it in a Chino Vietnamese way. Né? So, but when he comes to the round, he doesn't know how to write it. So he just put a round on it, you know? <laughs> like John Brown, round, you know? <laughs> and put a zero on it. Uh, he knows, it's okay, it's for him. And nobody in the family knows anyhow. <laughs> So then, then he came and drink wine and you know eat the feast with other people, you know, with the dead family, and wait until the time come. The time has not come yet. One of uh, uh, the uh, guests, you know, who's supposed to be a Chinese, you know, <laughs> read it, you know, and I thought, huh? We don't have this kind of name in Chinese. Uh, he must. How come he put a, a ring like that? He must forget, you know, because we don't have that in Chinese. So he must mean, you know, middle, you know, like name called middle. So he put a, a dash in the middle of that ring. Yeah. That means middle, you know what I mean? Yeah, we, we often have that name in Vietnam or in China. It's fine, yeah? Middle. So he went out, and then that person, after eating, drinking, and he came and read the eulogy. Yes, yes. And he read, in, <laughs> read everything okay until the name and say, Johnny Brown, Johnny. Brown, brown what? Johnny Brown. Because <laughs> he doesn't remember that he has this dash in the middle, you know, which is another word. So it's Johnny, 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 and then it becomes, you know, the, you know, the ladle. Johnny Brown ladle. <laughs> because it looks like, you know, those, you, you, you get the water. <laughs> and then, and then the family, <laughs> Was the kind of alarm in there? Oh, my, my son is Johnny Brown Middle. Why, why he wouldn't become little? <laughs> and he was so scared, you know. He look around and say, you know, he swear, you know, and say, <laughs> you know, whoever, whoever, uh, you know, I say, at the 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 handle and didn't tell me. <laughs> The next time if you add the handle, please tell me in advance. <laughs> and the handle. Nghe được hết không? Mấy thì gấu nghe không? You have enough? Huh? <laughs> uh, okay, once more, okay? Maybe once more. Uh, this is a, a story in the nut house, you know, <laughs> mental hospital. Okay, <laughs> two nuts sit together <laughs> and talk about their future. Mm. <laughs> a kind of a uh, black nut <laughs> talk to the white nut, you know, say. Well, I really like you very much, you know. Uh, after we, uh, if after we will be discharged from this uh, place, you know, I surely will uh, give my, uh, you know, sister to you for a bride, yeah, for a wife, yes. And uh, the why not say to the black nut, sir? No, 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 no. Thank you, but this is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Another black nut say, "Why? What's wrong? My sister is really, really, really beautiful. We have to see her." <laughs> Actually, he doesn't have one, but <laughs> but nobody knows <laughs> except him. <laughs> Anyhow, so the why not say, 
It's not possible because in our family tradition, we only married, we only marry relative. You know, and the black nurse said, "How come?" And the white nurse said, you, "You see, you see, my father married my mother." <laughs> My grandfather married my grandmother. <laughs> my uncle married my aunt. <laughs> How can I marry an outsider? <laughs> It's cute, huh? Good, huh? Good. <laughs> It's really not. <laughs> yeah, we are also not case. <laughs> We come here and listen to all this nonsense story, <laughs> but it's fine, huh? It's fine sometimes, just to add flavor into life, huh? Not always be serious and miserable Buddha, huh? <laughs> Enough, huh? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Don't you want to become Buddha? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe one more. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, you know there's a man. His name is uh, idiot number one. <laughs> He's a businessman. You know, he sell coal. You know, to make them smoke into my eyes. <laughs> And because he have to go. Around all the time for his business, so he's not often home, right? One day he came home from a business trip, and then his his son, you know, comes out. Uh, he's the oldest son. I don't know, younger son, you know, about maybe four or five years old. Run out to him, you know, embrace him very tightly, and say, Ah, Baba, Baba, ah, ah terrible, terrible, ah, very frightening. And Papa, you know the 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 idiot number one said, "What's wrong? What is it? What is it so frightening, my son?" So he said to his Papa, "Oh, there is a uh, there is a Dracula in 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 our house." <laughs> And so, the Papa said, "Ah, oh, my child, there's no such thing. You must know, Dracula and ghosts. These are just stories that people made up in order to scare the children. Ah, there's no such thing. Don't worry, and there's no such in our house." So the child said, "But I've seen it. I've seen him. It's in Mama's room." <laughs> 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 so you know, idiot number one run right into his wife's room and open the door wide. And then what did he see? He see his best friend, <laughs> nutcase number three, <laughs> sitting in a corner. You know, you know, under the bed. You know, in a corner next to the bed. You know, sitting like you know, kind of hiding. Ah, oh, and he broke down, you know, idiot number one, broke down, and broke out in cries. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are my only and best friend. How on earth would you have the heart to do this to me? <laughs> Treat you like my own brother, and now, <laughs> now, <laughs> now you see that when I'm not home, you came in my wife's room, and you play ghost to scare my child. <laughs> You understand? <laughs> wow! Don't forget, his name is Idiot Number One. <laughs> oh.
get it? <laughs> get it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, but we are not in Vietnam, huh? Chứ không thôi, huh? Việt Nam, huh? Okay. <laughs> Anh uh, Tâm Tàng. <laughs> Chắc bạn tôi xe. <laughs> Cuốn sách này của tôi xe nha. Người ta muốn mua về coi mua, vui lắm. <laughs> Le spectateur est pris de paix. Merci de nous avoir rejoints pour l'émission d'aujourd'hui intitulée Histoire de rôle non sainte deuxième partie d'un programme en trois épisodes dans Entre maîtres et disciples. Restez avec nous sur Supreme Master Télévision pour plus de programmes positifs. Retrouvez ensuite le jeune OJ pour la paix. Une vidéoconférence avec le maître suprême Sihai. Quatrième et dernière partie. Dans Parole de sagesse, juste après les nouvelles déceptions. Que la lumière céleste éveille vos jolis cœurs. Ô oh, merveilles qui souviennent constamment. May heaven light awaken your beautiful heart to constant wonders and amazement. For more details. Please visit suprememastertv.com/pmd